<laughs> that is absolutely amazing. Host of Bubble Wonders. I'm literally in awe. I cannot stop. Jeff uh, Bubbles, let's talk a little bit about how you got started with this. We were talking off camera. You have quite the story. Uh, tell us a little bit as to why Bubbles intrigued you and how it all began for you. Well, as I was saying, I used to work in special education many, many years ago, and there was a boy on the autism spectrum that was just absolutely fascinated by Bubbles. It was the one and only thing that ever made a connection with him. I found some bubbles, I opened it up, I started blowing bubbles, he came over to watch what I was doing, broke his routine for the first and only time that whole summer, and uh, all I could do was blow bubbles, I didn't know any tricks back then, but afterward all I could wonder was what else could I do with bubbles to lengthen that period of time that he allowed me into his world like that, and answering that question has turned into a full-time calling, has brought me from Chicago all the way to here. Already the response has been amazing, kids coming up, parents shaking my hand, it's been a really cool time so far. I look forward to more. I'm definitely not a kid, but I'm enjoying uh, the bubble wonders that you're doing right now. Uh, he's located right inside Hall A, so you can definitely come check him out. I see over on the sign you have daily shows 235 and 7, so lots of chances to be in awe over these bubbles. So, Jeff, what else can bubbles do? Well, I do all sorts of things during the show. The theme is anything is possible. So the running gag is we try to create a square bubble. No. Thank you. Thank you very yeah. much. <laughs> yeah. Now, I intentionally fail along the way because I'm modeling persistence. I'm teaching these little life lessons. So it's not just a show about bubbles. It's all about asking this question, what's your dream? Like, what's this thing that you really want to do? So I talk about persistence with the kids and not giving up. Even if you make a mistake or two, we laugh it off and we keep going. We keep going. And by the end of the show, we do it. We make a square bubble. Now, I can't do the square bubble right now. You have to actually come out and see the show. But I can do I can do a bubble volcano for you. Okay, sure. Would you like to see a bubble volcano? Of course, yeah. Let's see. Make sure this is wet. And then that's perfect. And then I simply wet this. Fill a bubble with fog, and then the same thing. Like you put your whole hand on, and pop the film. I'm just gonna use my finger. Watch this. Isn't that amazing? Wow, you get the Jeff! And the Oz from the audience, from the reporter. She, I've seen some things in my career, <laughs> and this is something that I'm in such awe over, Jeff. This is absolutely amazing. Now I saw you earlier with some younger kids. I was so jealous. I want to be put inside a bubble as well. Can you try that out with us? I can make that dream come true. You can cross this one off your bucket list. Yes. So stand up nice and straight and tall. Okay. And we'll do a little test. Ready? One, two, three. I'm inside a bubble. Isn't that beautiful? We'll do it again. One more. One more for good luck. Uh, a little refreshing breeze after. That is just amazing. This is just some of the action you can catch at Bubble Wonders. Like I mentioned, daily shows here. Jeff, thank you so much. You're welcome. Thanks thank for you. having me. Thank you. I love it. <laughs>